Hi there, my name is Pat Fader. I am an instructor at Milwaukee Area Technical College, an IT instructor. And as an IT student at MATC, you have access to a lot of resources. So that's what I want to talk about. And this font isn't fantastic, but we'll make do with it. I'm, basically what's happening here is I'm on my Mac and uh, I'm remo I've remoted into a Windows machine for this screencast, so it's, it's not ideal. Anyways, if you Google my name, Pat Fader, you can get an idea of what kind of resources you have access to. I'm going to click on let's see, student software here. You see that there's, you, there's, you have access to Microsoft Azure development tools as well as, their, as well as this VMware academic program. The VMware Academic Program allows you to get VMware Workstation as well as well as well as other resources, but primarily our our students use it for VMware Workstation. Side note: If you are downloading VMware Workstation, just always get the latest version. That's free; shouldn't cost you a penny. Uh, today, I want to talk about the Azure Development Tools. So, you should have already created a Microsoft account to allow you to get into their site. And I do have the steps and information on how to do that. If you have a problem with that, there is a phone number here. This is completely managed by Microsoft. So at MATC, we have no control over creating accounts, resetting passwords, etc. So anyways, these, these are the steps that would, you would use to create an account. And then once you've done that, then you can go off and start do downloading software. And that's what I want to do right now. So Microsoft Azure DevTools. Let me sign in. I guess either one doesn't matter. I may, need to, I may need to pause it for a bit while I'm trying to figure out my password and stuff. Um, let's see if I've got it. <laughs> All right, one second. All right, we're going to try it again. So I put my pass, my email address in. It's a personal account. And password. Yes. OK, we're almost done. Yeah, this the font here is kind of bad, but you'll I'm you you'll be able to follow along. All right, it takes me to at least when I log in, I get I go to this ed, their education site, and then from there I would just click View All for software, right here, and I could get a, I could see all the different operating systems as well as software that I could download, and you you get an idea. There's a whole bunch of other content that can be that you can also get from this, but again, I'm just talking about Visio today. For some reason, if you come to a different location, what you want to do, and I kind of feel like Microsoft set this up for students, but it's like this site really wasn't developed for students. It's it's another site just for industry professionals for getting resources, and they just they just kind of added an education tool onto it. So, anyways, I typed in education. We'll go to education preview. All right, then I under software I'll hit view all. And now we're going to look for Visio. Visio Professional. There is a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. I want the 64-bit version. There's not many reasons to go with a 32-bit unless you have a really old computer. Uh, okay. So I'm going to now download it. I could hit view key. I don't want to show everybody my, my product key. So, but that is something that you can, that you should view and take a screenshot of. So you'll need that when you install Visio. Let's kick off the download. And it's downloading. I'll pause it and then we'll just come back. Basically it's downloading an ISO. So we're going to have to have some way of treating that ISO or, or at least reading the contents out of that ISO and that's built into Windows 10. So I'll just pause this. I just changed the font size on my host computer. So you can tell we're almost done. Uh, out of three gigabytes, I've got um, about one gigabyte left to download. All right, we're almost done. So the file is downloaded and here it is. Let's just let's take a look at it real quick in a folder. 
So it's um, you know three and a half gigabytes in size. And we do see that it is a it is an ISO file. So basically, an ISO file is a it's a it's a file that it's like a zip file. Um, someone took an entire DVD, if you want to think of it that way, and compressed the file structure as well as the data into a single file. So that's we have an ISO file. It's a pretty bad uh, definition. That was what I have off the top of my head. That's the best I have. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, I can open it with, I have 7-zip installed, so if I wanted to, I could just extract all the files using 7-zip. That might work, that would actually, I know that would work for sure. Um, I could also just try to open it with, uh, let's see, Windows Explorer, that might, I think Windows 10 actually has the ability to mount an ISO file built into it. Here it is, and at this point, I'm kind of hesitant, I would just kick off an install, you know, double click to setup.exe. And are you sure? Yep. And we let her fly. Oh. Okay, so in my case, I can't go any further because I already have Visio installed. But that's it. So getting so getting Visio is not too bad. Once you have Visio installed, if you look on my website, I'm pretty sure I have other resources um, on how to use Visio. Yeah, how to create a basic network diagram in Visio. So you can start there. There are a ton of online resources on how to use Visio and sample network diagrams as well. So I hope I hope that this was helpful, and have a great semester. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. Bye.